Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Rebecca. But if you're already subscribed, welcome back. As you can see from the title below today, you guys will be getting to know me more. So about two weeks ago, I asked you guys on Instagram whether you guys want a medical related video or a get to know me video. And the votes were very, very similar. And I figured that it would be interesting for me to film this get to know me video because other than my life as a medical student, you guys don't know me that much. Okay, so in this video, you guys will be learning 30 random facts about me 10 of them i picked it up myself and another 20 is by kimberly so i asked her to prepare 20 questions for me to answer in this video and she put it in this envelope which i have not opened she told me not to open it let's just get started so my full name is rebecca Ruwen. in chinese it's huang Ruwen. i just turned 22 years old and i'm a third year medical student i was born and raised in malaysia specifically johor baru johor johor baru is in johor okay Johor Bahru is not a state. Just letting you guys know because a lot of you guys get confused. I'm a pure Chinese but I'm not fluent in Mandarin. So I do understand and speak a little bit of Mandarin but I can't read right. When I do speak Mandarin, it's very weird because I have this one kind of slang. So with that being said, I can speak multiple languages. I speak English, BM, Mandarin, Korean. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I know basic Korean and I know how to read it but I'm not good at forming sentences. So if you are wondering which language I am most fluent with, it would be BM and also English. Okay, so moving on, I have eczema and psoriasis. And one super super fun fact and weird fact about me is that I have no thumbprints. My thumbprint is literally damaged. It's the same for all other fingers as well. Can you see that? damage i rarely have perfect thumbprint and that makes it difficult when i have to do official things like at the immigration or when i'm at the bank or even when i travel oh my god it's always so nerve-wracking for me to be standing at the immigration when i'm traveling because i just don't know if i'm allowed to get into the country you know so i can cook bake dance and act with that being said i auditioned for jyp entertainment before in singapore i think i was 12 or 13 so why did i start my youtube channel this is because I want to inspire aspiring medical students and I want them to know that they can be whoever they want to be as long as they put effort in it. I also want people to know that a medical student can be smart, pretty, fun at the same time. This is because a lot of people have this perception that a medical student should be very nerdy, doesn't know how to socialize, always looking dead and lifeless. That's why I want to change this perception that anyone has. So moving on, I do sleep talk a lot especially if I'm very tired and when when I do sleep talk, I'm usually scolding people. Like my sister said, I'm a really angry soul. We are done with the 10 facts that I picked up myself. So right now, I'll be opening this envelope that Kimberly prepared for me. Wow. Oh, I got color color one some more. Oh my god, her effort. Ooh. The first question is, why are you filming this video? So I think I already mentioned it in the start of this video. But it's because my audience want to get to know me more. <laughs> So basically, you guys voted for it, so that's why I'm doing this video. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? I think I would want to work harder during my high school. If only I could put in effort like how I do in medical school and foundation, I think that my results would be better and I think that I would be able to secure a scholarship. Up to now, my biggest regret is to not have a scholarship just because I didn't put in as much effort, so yeah. What is your weird habit? So basically, I have this super weird habit where I like to bite people. <laughs> I don't do this a lot lately, but back in high school, I used to do it all the time. I like to bite my super close friends. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just like geram, you know? When you see them, right, it's like, you want to You know like how you want to bite babies? When you see your friends acting so annoying and they just irritate you, you're just like, <laughs> what would you do with 5,000? Knowing me, I would immediately plan for a holiday, book my flight tickets, and just go. Describe your sisters in three words. Okay, so I have two sisters. I'll start with Michelle, which is my older sister. She's generous, loving, talented. Or Naomi, which is my second sister. She is brave, courageous, tough. What is your best achievement so far? I guess my best achievement would be doing well in med school. Yeah, doing well in med school. What is your favorite cartoon? Damn. Cartoon. So I don't watch a lot of cartoon and I don't think Frozen is a cartoon. So if I have to choose Scooby-Doo, 
Yeah, I used to love Scooby Doo. What is the worst grade you ever got on an exam? I think it was a C because when I was in Form 4, I forgot to do one part of the exam paper. I think it was summary. Rumusan. What was your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I can't really think of one but I do fall down a lot and I think it will be something related to me falling down. Who has left the most impact on your life? Wow, Kimberly is going so deep. It could be a good impact or a bad impact but if it's a good impact, no one has ever left me with like a super huge impact because I rarely get impressed by anyone. The one that impressed myself is myself. <laughs> For me, my role model is myself and I impress myself. But if this question is about a bad impact, it's about this guy who I know in my life. He once questioned about my ability to become a doctor just because I want to become a dermatologist. And he practically said it in a way that I'm not fit to become a doctor just because I like all this beauty beauty stuff which it doesn't make sense. Super old school for him to think that way. But I didn't let that affect me. Instead, that became my motivation to strive harder and he's only super close-minded and super traditional for thinking that way. If you can get rid of one weakness in your life, what would it be? The one weakness that I have is that I can't make decisions fast. Like, if you ask me to make a decision on where to eat, what to do, where to go, it's super hard. So I think I want to get rid of that because it makes my life easier and it makes the life of the person I'm hanging out with easier as well if that person too can't make a decision. So I want to get rid of that. What is the weirdest dream you ever had? Oh, I had one recently where I dreamt that I kena paksa kahwin dengan Elvin Chong. <laughs> I don't even know Elvin Chong personally. I don't stalk him. I wasn't keeping track on Elvin Chong. So when I had that dream, it was super weird because I kena paksa kahwin. I was forced into a marriage and I was super reluctant. At the end of the dream, I began to accept him. Yeah, when I woke up, it was super weird because I was like, who is this guy? Who was your first friend in uni? Oh, my first friend would be Shakira. So I met Shakira the first time when I enrolled myself into Foundation in Science. I think we were getting ready to go into the hall to submit some documents and I met her there. And it was super cringy. Like my mom was like, what's your name? She was like, Shakira. My mom was like, oh, that's a beautiful name. And then she asked me my name and she said, oh, that's a beautiful name too. <laughs> yeah. So Shakira was my first friend in uni. At what age will you retire? I think I want to retire at 50 to 60. 55 to 60 yeah how long do you take to get ready oh my god so it really depends on how rush am i or how much time do i have so if i'm just going to uni i can be ready in like 30 minutes but if i'm doing full-on makeup and i'm styling my hair i think it will take me about one to one and a half hours so it really depends what is the strangest thing you believe as a kid I don't remember this clearly but I think either my sister or my mom told me that if I don't remove my makeup before going to bed, my soul will leave my body or my soul will be trapped inside. <laughs> I know that's like super gruesome and like super weird right? I think that was a way for them to get me to remove my makeup because it's super not good to sleep with your makeup. So yeah, that's the strangest thing like I was super scared. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> Yes, I do. But if once you get to know them, they're not how they look like, I think that would change. I don't believe in love at first sight. Like K-pop idols. <laughs> what is the one thing most people don't know about you? I think a lot of people don't know that as extroverted as I may seem to be, I am not really an extrovert. Instead, I'm an introvert. Ever since I entered university, my life kind of changed. I was super extroverted in high school. But when I entered university, I changed into an introvert. A lot of people don't know I'm an introvert actually. And a lot of people find that it's hard to believe. What is your favorite memory of us? Wow, Kimberly. There's so many good memories with Kimberly that I could not pick one. So if I had to pick, I would say working at Mr. Dark Galbi together. Why I chose that as my favorite memory is because we get to spend every day together. We will eat together, cook together, have fun together with my other colleagues. And ever since we entered into university, we don't get that luxury now. We only meet each other once every two to three months and that's because both of us have really busy schedules and we just have to do a lot of things so whenever we are both free i will always try to arrange like a day out or for a holiday 
what is your goal for your YouTube channel? I want my YouTube channel to grow even bigger and to be able to inspire aspiring medical students. I just hope that whoever that's watching my YouTube channel learns a lot from it. And I also hope that someday I'll be able to build this special bond with my YouTube audience that they can just freely tell me about their problems, so what they're happy about in life, what they're sad about just like a physical friend. We have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did answering all of these questions. Thank you so much to Kimberly for preparing these 20 questions even though you're busy studying for your board's exams. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys!